beautiful, wonderful people. It is your girl, Simone Nicole here, back at it again with yet another video. And today's video is going to be another installment of Simone's Seven Days of Christmas is what I think I'm gonna like call it or whatever. Today's episode is kind of gonna be a part of my like preparing to move kind of thing. If you guys don't know, I'm moving to Atlanta. It is coming up very, very, very fast. So um, I am starting to clean out everything here at my mom's place. And something that is atrocious is the fact that I have not cleaned out. This is a three tier drawer. I have this basket here of items. Oh no, Jesus. And then I have various other items. Let me, let me turn, let me point the camera. I have all of these other items child the ghetto to keep it a buck i have not been through this stuff probably since i started being pretty serious about youtube and that wasn't until right before i got out of college so this collection has been amassing since at least 2017 and we are about to be in 2021 so that is what today's video is going to be but before we get into today's video we have to do our subscribe or shout out of the day Ooh, remakes I don't know if this person has been my subscriber shout out before, but I just could not. This comment was far too funny. I know her a lot on my channel. She's so stinking sweet. She comments all the time. Her name is Trudy Ann, and she commented on my times that I've had to call 911 story time. And she said, nah, this is unexplainable. He was probably waiting for someone to come out unsuspected then he was gonna stab him in the neck with a succulent. Homeboy drives up and swoops the victim in the car and then skirts you on. Sorry, I'm a crime junkie. Yo, I don't laugh out loud at comments like very often, but literally, Trudy, this is me. Me, this is true. Like, I I can't. I've never related to a comment so much in my life. Thank you so much, Miss Trudy, for leaving such a sweet comment and for allowing me to LOL today. And if you would like to be my subscriber, shout out in my next video, then make sure that you are one, subscribed, and two, that you are commenting something nice, something funny, something sweet, and maybe you could be my next subscriber shout out. And with all that being said, let's get into today's clean out video. I'm gonna get some vlog camera footage of what is in front of me, cause this is insane. Look at this. And keep in mind that this isn't even like, literally. Okay, so the first thing that we have here is our Garnier Whole Blends Replenishing Leave-In Conditioner. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna say that I don't wanna use this because the first ingredient is not water. And there's not a lot left in here. So we're gonna throw this in the get rid of pile. Next, we have our Redken Extreme, the Jumbo Shampoo and Conditioner. I loved these um, when my hair was straight. I also have the original All Soft line too and the bottles are nearly empty. I loved these when I was straightening my hair and I actually started using these two in particular because the Glam Twins used them and I worked at Ulta at the time. So whenever we had our jumbo sales, I think that these guys were like 16 bucks. So I was like, yo, why not? I'm gonna go with the no for these. Honestly guys, I'm going to put these in a pile for my niece to get to first because she is natural. So I'm going to give her first dibs. Next, we have this Proclaim Professional Hair Care Olive Moisturizing Creme. Uh, I don't know why I got this. Oh, so the second ingredient is mineral oil. So we're just going to go with the no. Next, we have our Weedad Advanced Climate Control Frizzing, Defrizzing Shampoo. I again use this line. Oh, I think this is the conditioner. Yeah. I again use this line when I used to straighten my hair. I'm going to keep these guys around for if I choose to straighten my hair because I did like them for when I had straight hair. So I'm gonna choose to keep these guys around. Ooh, do you know what line I don't like? Carol's Daughter. I just have never tried something that I'm a fan of. Mask is pretty old. Ugh, eh, I don't even care to look through the ingredient list. I used half of it, but I don't think I liked it very much. Then we have our Mio Organics Pomade Honey Curl Sculpting Custard. And I remember thinking that this was cool. Um, I thought that it made my hair a little too like shrunken. And I only bought it because of the video that I did where I did Kimberly Sherelle's natural hair routine last year around this time. And I didn't, I felt like this wasn't super moisturizing. It was a little too defining. So I'm gonna put this in the giveaway pile as well. 
Ugh, you know I'm not giving these away. If you are not new to my channel, then you would know that this is like one of my favorite gels on my hair. However, towards the end of me using it, I did start to kind of feel like it was making my curls a little too shrunken and a little too little, but we're just gonna keep them. Ooh, I hate this. This is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Repair and Hydrate Shampoo. And this one is supposed to be for brittle and damaged hair. My hair felt so dry after I used this, so I'm gonna put that in the giveaway pile. Ooh, the Chi Silk Infusion. If you straighten your hair, this is a godsend. It is so, so, so good. So I'm definitely gonna keep this around. This one, the Curls Creme Boulet Whipped Curl Cream. I don't super care for this, like, just to keep it all the way 100, I feel like it's just okay. Okay, I really, really, really like this conditioner. This is the Giovanni Eco Chic Hair Care. I did a video on this. Oh no, this was included in my Water Soluble Favorites video. This conditioner is at a really, really good price. You get a ton of it and it is water soluble. Really, really, really love this stuff for conditioning the hair as a leave-in, all that good stuff. So I'm definitely keeping this. This next one is just a mini of the Pattern Hydrating Shampoo and it feels like I used a lot of this, which is kind of crazy. But I'm definitely gonna keep this around because I like to have shampoos here and there that are really good clarifiers but don't dry out the hair. And this one definitely does that. Ooh, one of the last, the Mohicans, Diva Curl. And I guess that I've never actually addressed this on my channel, whether or not like I support them anymore. I do not like the way that they handled the controversy and just deny, deny, deny. Um, and I also, don't have time to play around with my hair. So for that reason, I have stopped all use of using Diva Curl. So this is definitely gonna go in the giveaway pile. But even when I was still using it, I did not like this product. This is their Ultra Defining Gel. It flaked like no other on me. I freaking hated it. So it would have been in the giveaway pile regardless. Oh, next, I have one of my Not Your Mother's natural um, conditioner. And this is also another one. I will definitely be keeping both of these. This is why I need to be doing this clean out because um, I did a video on these and I really liked the three that I kept. They just got buried and lost in the sauce, but these conditioners are really good. I just don't like the pump on them. The pump gets stuck a lot, but besides that, really good and really affordable. Next, we have some main choice products, the hydrating conditioner and the hydrating detangling shampoo. I will definitely be keeping both of these. If you guys did not see, I actually did a brand deal on this line and as you guys know I do not talk about anything on my channel that I would not actually use so I will be keeping all four of these for sure this guy the curls ultimate be in control sculpting styling gel I have not given this enough of a chance I used it in a video and I haven't picked it up since but it's because I'm constantly trying new things on my channel so I'm gonna keep this because I haven't really given it a real chance. Definitely gonna be getting rid of this Diva Curl Leave-In Decadence for obvious reasons. Well, the reasons just mentioned. Then we have our Living Proof Curl Conditioning Wash. I loved when Living Proof had their curly line. Um, it was really good, but it did not sell well for the company, so they ended up getting rid of it. I've probably had this for two years, and it says it has a shelf month of 12 months that's literally mind your business because i'm keeping it <laughs> this guy i'm definitely getting rid of i bought this um because it was on sale at my job i think that it was like literally like 75 percent off of this 22 dollars price so i figured why not um it's horrible it works horribly i hate it it is completely full i use it about once so this is going in the giveaway pile oh this manuka honey hydrate and repair protein power treatment I remember not super caring for this how and ever. Um, I'm gonna give it another chance because it is a protein treatment, but I remember thinking like, this isn't all that great. Next, we have the Curls Dynasty Give Me Slip. I will be keeping this. I love this as a co-wash, so I will be keeping that bad boy. Oh man, this has got to be like, look at the packaging on this, guys. This has got to be a good... I don't know how old, 
like probably this is one of the first products I ever bought when I went natural. So I'm going to throw this away because I think that she has had her share time on earth. Next is the Main Choice Pink Lemonade and Coconut Conditioner. I bought this because at the time I was trying to try something different besides my favorite favorite, the Tropical Moringa um, Main Choice Leave-In Conditioner and I wanted to try this instead. I remember liking this but not loving it. I am probably just gonna put this in my shower just so I can use the rest of it up and I probably won't repurchase it. Ooh, this one was really good. This is the Miss Jessie's Leave-In Condish with soybean and aloe. This is really good. Um, I just need to use it. Uh, you already know how I feel. You already know how I feel. I will never, I will never not use this in my hair. This is currently in my hair right now. Okay, then we have the Miel Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner. I will definitely be keeping this. This has been surprisingly a brand that I keep reaching for. I, when I initially did my review, I said that I liked it. I could not anticipate how much I would reach for this. So yes, pattern is definitely something that I will keep. And once I run out of it, I will be rebuying it. I really enjoy her products. Ooh, this is the Taraji P. Henson Mother Earth Moisturizing Clay Mask. Um, yeah, no. I remember when I did my video on this. I'm just gonna link any and all relevant videos in the description box because a lot of these products I did literally for a video, like all of this I'm probably gonna be putting, um, except for this clarifying shampoo. I think I like this. So I'm gonna be putting this in a giveaway pile. I'm gonna give this to my sister because she has like scalp issues and this is her scalp scrub. So I'm definitely gonna be putting these two in the giveaway and then I'm gonna keep the shampoo just so I have a little shampoo to go back to. This one is the Curl Theory Scalp Refreshing Conditioning Wash. I liked this when I tried it, so I'm gonna keep it. It didn't rub me the wrong way, so we're gonna use the rest of it. This is the Emerge Style Goals Gel. I really, really, really like this gel. It is a runnier consistency, so some people don't love it as much, but I really like it. Ooh, another pattern going in the keep. This one is the Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In Detangling Hair Treatment. Uh, I, I like this. Again, I bought this for my Kimberly Sherelle video. Um, I thought that it was good, but nothing, nothing touches her, okay? Nothing touches her. So, I'll use the rest of it. Ooh, the Curls Dynasty Twisted Definition Twisting Cream. Definitely gonna keep this. I really like this. My Olaplex stuff, I'm definitely keeping. I've been trying Olaplex on my hair ever since I got my highlights because my highlights really, really, really changed my hair chemistry this time. My curl pattern is still there, but my hair is not doing super well. So this one is the Power Greens Hair Tea Rinse. I liked this when I used it. I didn't see like a tremendous difference in my hair, but I do like the feeling of it. I like the smell of it. So I'm going to keep it because I like the experience of using it. Then we have our Weedad Curl Immersion Co-Wash Cleansing Conditioner. I'm going to keep this because it's nearly gone. And I do like the way that it makes my hair feel and it also makes it feel pretty clean. So my Brio Geo Curl Charisma Gel. I really like this gel for on more soft hold days and definitely not for a wash and go. Definitely for more so of a um, braid out kind of look. Ooh, this is the Texture ID Conditioner. Since I have a vivid memory of going to the only Sally's in my little college town to buy this, I'm gonna say this is like years and years and years old. I'm gonna see if my niece wants it. If not, I'm probably gonna throw it out because it's old. Oh, this is the silicone mix protein treatment. I bought this for my weave and I will continue to keep it for my wigs and weaves. This stuff is the goat when it comes to replenishing um, old weave. Then I have this hair paint wax that I recently used. I'm gonna keep it just as like a, if I wanna change up my look kind of thing. I didn't, I didn't feel like this had a lot of pigmentation to it, this color in particular, but I am going to keep it. This Style Edge Booster Chow, I would really like this if it didn't turn my edges white. So I guess you could say we're giving this away. Oh my goodness. This is the Dark and Lovely Unnatural Anti-Shrinkage Curl Souffle. I remember using this and thinking like, anti-shrinkage, girl, goodbye. I'm going to put this in the giveaway pile. Then we have our Pow Gel. 
Um, I also did a little um, Instagram video with this gel. While I really like this gel, I do not like the fact that it has little sparkles in it. It works really well though. So I'm going to see if my niece wants it. If she doesn't want it, then I will keep it. But I'm going to give her the option of taking it from me. I'm so mad that I forgot that I had this girl. This is the Brio Gio leave-in milk. What you talking about? This is such a good refresher and it smells so good. Eco Styler Gel. I don't know why I have a tub of this, but things have been being said about Eco Styler as a company and they're not coming hard enough for me to defend themselves. So I have no choice but to believe the rumors about them. You can watch videos, you can come to your own conclusion, but I don't even like the shadiness being implied. So I'm gonna give this away. And this thing is like very much so still full so ooh, this is the shea moisture manuka honey and mafura oil this is my favorite line from shea moisture this is probably my favorite product that shea moisture has ever made probably i would say since there's just like a corner left in there i'm gonna use the rest of it and then i'm going to throw it out but yes i love this mask i also really like this mask this used to be like one of my all-time favorites but now that my hair is a little more damaged this just doesn't do the job it soaks right into the hair strand and i need something that's not only going to soak right into it but it's also going to like sit on top so i like this for combination with other things but not just by itself anymore Ooh, i loved this too the power greens reconstructor i think i yeah i use almost all of this it's almost completely gone um i love this stuff i'm going to use it until it is all gone and i will definitely be repurchasing that i have another cheese silk infusion okay we've gotten through everything on the floor so now we gotta get into oh this guy let's just go drawer by drawer and these drawers are full to the brim I really like this product too. This is the Talia Wajid Green Apple and Aloe Leave-In Conditioner. This is disgusting because I used it during my look in a book where I was using the hair paint wax. But I really like this. Um, similar to this leave-in spray, I just like to have little things to just spray in my hair. Just for refreshing purposes, you know? This is an, also another part of the Olaplex at home treatment. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this. Then we have our Murray's Beeswax. I use this when I am braiding. Got our got to be glued again for my wigs and such. Oh, apple cider vinegar root relief. I think I used this like a couple of times and then just never use it again. So I'm gonna use this for the next time I have braids. Ooh, this is one of my favorite co-washes of all time. The As I Am coconut and passion fruit grow wash i love this stuff ah probably one of my favorite leave-ins of all time the main choice tropical moringa rinse in or leave out conditioner i love this stuff okay this is the infra shampoo which is a part of the silk infusion line by chi I remember this smelling good, but I don't remember liking how it was on my natural hair, so I'm gonna give this away for my braids. It's a no for me, dog. And then finally in this top bin, we have this Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel by Aunt Jackie's. I remember not really liking this, so again, I'm going to give this to my niece to see if she likes it. Next drawer full of goodies. We have our Shea Moisture Cannabis Sativa Plush Light Leave-In. I like to keep these guys around. Here goes the top. I like to keep these guys around for how I just sprayed my hair in this video 75 times. This is the Living Proof Humidity Shield. I really like this stuff. I am out. Oh, no, baby. I still got a little bit in here. I'm going to keep this because I actually really like this stuff. And then the same thing. This is though both of those products are for when my hair is straight though. Oh, the Taraji Make It Rain. Since I kept the shampoo, I'm gonna keep the conditioner. I was supposed to do a one product wash and go with this, and I never did. I suck, but I'm gonna keep it. Ooh, I forgot I had this. The Back to Life Hair Mask. I wonder if I like this now that my hair is damaged. Ooh, I love this stuff. But it, it felt really good, but it is so heavy on oil. I might actually use it for when I do my hair next because it feels really good. It's just not that good for my hair. 
another silk infusion what is wrong with i have literally three of these Ooh, this is um a bodybuilder like a shampoo i'm sorry like a like a hairspray i will use this on my natural hair on some days if like i need my hair to be really really big and um it's just not doing it for me oh let me let me see if i can show you guys do i have any left but i'll make sure to separate it and get it right at my roots because this will dry out my hair oh i'm out oh this was really good i remember this being really good but oh you can kind of see it can you kind of see it yeah you definitely can is this out yeah it's definitely out but mm, makes you feel better <laughs> and another one definitely keeping i've only used this once so i'm gonna keep it because it's almost full and i didn't really give it the justice it deserves so we're gonna try this again i wish i had a napkin somewhere around here because these products just open up and i have no idea this is the flexible styling snot i remember using this and thinking that it was okay um i'm gonna go ahead and give this away because i just don't see myself ever using this again oh the camille rose naturals curl maker I bought this because every natural has it and I wanted to love it so bad and I just don't. So I'm going to give this away. And then I also have another one of the Crystal Orchard. Oh my God, I'm drunk. I have one and the main choice also sent me one. So I'm gonna give one of them away cause I'm not gonna get through two big things of gel. So I'm just gonna give this one away. Oh, I remember this all natural this hydrating soak shampoo i remember this feeling very stripping on the hair so i'm gonna go ahead and give this away yeah and it had that really funny smell oh i remember this using this stuff there's so many things that have literally opened up in these drawers that's disgusting why am i exposing myself like this oh and we're down to our last drawer Next, we have our Shea Moisture Manuka, Manuka Honey Hydrate and Repair Multi-Action Leave-In. You know what? Since it's been a trend, oh, I'm really out. I love this stuff a lot. I've probably bought this two or three times. Love it. So I will be rebuying this. This is my POW collection leave-in. I'm going to be keeping this. You can never have too many leave-ins. And I really did like this, the way this one performed. This is the afrogy shampoo for damaged hair i keep this because when i do pro the protein treatment by afrogy they tell you to use this afterwards so i'm gonna keep it for that reason this okay this is a naturally silk essentials curl soothing smoothing custard i don't think i've used this a day in my life y'all like to keep it a buck i've had this for a really long time and i oh my god that smell is horrid i don't know the jury's still out on this one this is the stronghold styling gel by edge booster i use this in my kimberly Chereau video as well and i think i used it like a couple times afterwards and just never used it again um oh the smell oh the smell i'm gonna go ahead and give put this in the giveaway pile because i don't remember especially loving this then we have our blueberry bliss reparative hair mask i don't think i have very much of this left so i'm just gonna finish this off and then be done with it because i remember liking it but not like falling head over heels in love with it okay this one is the meow organics curling souffle i like this one better than i like the custard how and ever um i don't love it so i am also going to be placing this in the giveaway pile i forgot i had this oh my god oh and i forgot it did that the thing gets stuck but i do really like this stuff i used to love this stuff so much before i discovered that the third ingredient in it is the methicone i think i was about to put this in a favorites video super expensive miss jesse's is very expensive as a brand but i really really y'all i'm in a depression i just looked down at this and saw that the third ingredient is amadimethicone or silicone yep we're gonna give that away oh someone dropped this in my bathroom this is one of my favorite ones and someone dropped it so now i'll just have to like take the thing off because you better believe i'm still gonna use it i got some wig glue i got another pack of this that it will be giving away and child that is it we are all cleaned out i feel like i truly flew through 
this as fast as I could. Thank you for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for participating or for watching my seven days of um, Christmas moments. Is that annoying? Alrighties, I'm gonna get out of here. Remember to keep positivity in your life because positivity breeds positivity and we have no time for negativity in 2020. I will see you guys in my next upload. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I'll see y'all later.